Welcome to another episode of The Future in Five. My name is Jacob Morgan. This is where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. Joined by a very special guest, Francine Katsudis, who is the Chief People Officer at Cisco. And we're gonna talk about top three tips to building high-performing and effective teams. All yours, Francine. Thank you so much. So this is what we've learned at Cisco. We've just completed a best team study, and this is the top three things that truly differentiate best teams. So the first is, to focus on the individual strengths of each team member. Mm -hmm. uh, know what's special, know what's unique about each of them. The second thing is to create an environment where every individual feels that their values are shared. And then the last thing, and this is something that I'm surprised us a bit, and that is within your teams as leaders, create an environment where every team member feels like their teammates have their back. Not you as the leader, but their teammates have their back. And when you do that, what you've done is you've acknowledged individual strengths, you have built an environment from a value perspective, and then within a safe, safe and trusting environment as well. So those like are the it. three things. I like it. So maybe we could talk about uh, one or two of those maybe for another 20 seconds. So uh, as far as focusing on strengths, so does that mean you just ignore the weaknesses and just focus on great things that employees can do? Yeah, I think what you do is you recognize how your employees are at their best, and really you continue to work towards allowing them to play to those strengths. Mm -hmm. I think as leaders, we're always gonna help coach our employees when there's things that they can do better. But instead of being in the environment where we focus on the weaknesses, I would say focus completely on strengths and then address what you need to address. Got it, that makes sense. And the second point was? About values. Values, and so maybe you can unpack that a little bit more when you talk about values. Yeah, what we find is that when um, employees feel like they're on a team with their shared values, it really creates that environment where they're more willing to put their thoughts and their ideas forward. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a natural lead into the third, yeah, yeah. Um, which is my teammates have my back. And what we re really learned is that that is all about safety and trust. And so as leaders, how do you create that environment where people feel like they can't take risks? And the way that you do that is create that environment of having one another's backs. And as far as the values, it sounds like that's really about just talking to people and understanding what they value, what they care about, and sort of bringing that to life. Yes, and I think it also ties to the broader purpose and mission that you have as a company as well. Yeah. Cool. Well, there you have it. Top three tips for building and creating high-performing teams. Uh, what were the three again? So, first, know the strengths of your team. Second, create an environment where there's shared values. And third, ensure that your teammates have their backs. Perfect. If you want to get access to more of these videos, podcasts, etc., check out thefutureorganization.com and you can find Francine Katsudis on Twitter, on LinkedIn, sharing all sorts of really cool stuff. We'll see you next time on an episode of The Future in Five. Thank you. Hey, are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe.